All right, everybody, we have USC 300 going down tomorrow, and I thought I'd hop on here real quick and give you guys my predictions for UFC 300. I'm going to be breaking down the whole main card, so let's dive right into it. Now I'm still dancing with two left feet, yeah, but with a little help, I can move on beat. Now I can moonwalk in two socks and groove all week, but I can't seem to two-step, I lose my feet. Now I can shake it, I can shimmy, I can shuffle, I can gritty. You can gritty? I can gritty, it just don't look that pretty, and I can do this little... All right, guys, so we have our main card opener. We have Bo Nickel versus Cody Brundage in the middleweight division. Uh, I have to be honest with you guys, I feel like they just gave this guy to Bo Nickel just to see if he's going to get past him. Uh, he's not really that much of a name. I mean, I didn't really know him until I knew that he was fighting Bo Nickel. Uh, so I, I really think that Bo Nickel's going to win. I mean, uh, his wrestling is really good. If he can wrestle, he could do good. Uh, if this guy has any striking, like I said, I don't think I'm giving a fair advantage to Cody just because I don't know him. I don't know the type of fighter he is. Uh, but Bo Nickel definitely is not a striker. I mean, yes, he got his last win by knockout. Uh, but it definitely wasn't the cleanest. I, that, that striking was very interesting to watch. Uh, but if he can get it down to the wrestling, I think he could do a pretty good job. So I'm just going to go for Bo Nickel. I have a feeling he's going to win this fight by submission. But hey, you never know. We'll see. Oh, man. Okay, I am super stoked for this one. The rest of the card I'm really, really excited for. We have the lightweight division, the number one contender, Charles Oliveira versus Arvon Sarukian. I'm super excited for this fight. So Charles Oliveira. I mean, hey man, how can you not like Charles Oliveira? I mean, the wins that he has in the lightweight division, his reign as a champion when he had that belt, and his comeback from the loss from Islam Makachev. I mean, this guy is not a guy you want to mess with in that lightweight division, especially when he's hungry and when he's dangerous. He wants that belt back. He's going to do everything he can to get that belt. Armand, I mean, I've seen him fight a couple of times. I saw him fight Daniil, and I went back and I watched some tape on Armand. That way I can have a better idea on what type of fighter he is. And he can definitely give Charles Oliveira some problems. However, I, I've been looking at him this whole week, and you can kind of tell all, all that pressure from the fans is getting to him. Is that gonna is that gonna affect him mentally when he's going into that cage against Charles Oliveira? I definitely think that Armand definitely has the striking advantage as far as having that KO power. However, we've seen Charles Oliveira get knocked down before and he does not quit on himself. He gets right back up and he goes at you again. I definitely think if Charles Oliveira uses those those knees and those front kicks, he'll be able to put on a good class. However, I think Charles Oliveira is gonna knock this guy out. I really think he is i hope he does but either way my pick is that charles Oliveira is going to win this fight the people's main event right here i'm so excited for this fight in the lightweight division for the bmf belt we have justin the highlight gaichi versus max blessed holloway and like they've been saying all week when you put these two fighters together we're gonna have a blessed highlight i'm super excited for this fight you know i've been watching both of these fighters camps because they've been posting all of their camps on youtube so i've been watching justin gaichi and he looks really really good his camp looked like he put in some good work he was really pushing himself to the limits uh but you gotta give credit to max holloway man i mean he is built for this 155 fight i'm super excited for him to make his uh second attempt going to lightweight as far as having the knockout power we definitely got to give it to justin gaichi i mean that man's hands are strong However, we're talking about the guy who has the chin of steel, never been knocked down in the USC before. Uh, I want to favor Max Holloway. I feel like Max Holloway has more of that strategic play. He can control the octagon better. Justin Gaethje is just going to go in and throw the whole kitchen sink at you, which he can, can either knock him out or he's going to tire himself out, and Max Holloway is going to take advantage of that. And that's exactly what I think is going to happen. I think we're going to see a new contender in the lightweight division, and it's going to be Max Holloway. So that's my prediction. Max Holloway is going to win this fight. All right, it is the Battle of China. We have the two Chinese women going together to fight for the strawweight title bout. I am super excited for this fight. I watched both of these fighters last fight, and Zhang Wei Li has given just an awesome representative of what a champion needs to look like. I mean, I'm gonna pop it on screen now on the strikes and the statistics for her last fight. Like, you don't do that to anybody. Like, that is absolutely insane that she was able to do that. I definitely want to favor her. I mean, you got to give it to Yan, though. I mean, she's pretty sneaky. I mean, the way she put out Jessica Andrade, I mean, Jessica Andrade threw, like, three looping hooks, which 
you don't do that. <laughs> but uh, she got that knockout power. We saw it. She knocked out Jessica Andrade. And uh, I don't think Zhang has the best chin. I mean, we saw her got dropped by uh, Thug Rose. And uh, I don't know. I mean, she seems a lot bigger than Thug Rose. So uh, I want to favor the champion. I mean, she has that champion experience. She's just, This is the two-time strawweight holder. I definitely want to give it to her. I don't think, once again, I think this is going to go to decision. I don't think we're going to get a knockout on this one. I think Zhang Wei Li is going to have to use a lot of her skills. The close-in strikes with the elbows, the knees, some of that grappling. She's going to have to use all of her tools in order to get this done. But I will favor Zhang Wei Li retaining her title. Oh, man. I got chills when this one got announced, guys. Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm already going to tell you, and you should mark, You probably already know who I'm picking. Alex Pereira. Alex Pereira is going to win this fight. There's no way he does it. If he loses this fight, I, I will lose my mind. This is why. Look at this man's record. 9-2, and two, right? 11 fights in to his MMA career and has already had two UFC championship belts. Jamal Hill. I will give it to Jamal Hill, though. 13 fights in, and he's had a belt before. However... Jamal Hill, he struggled his way to the top. He, he did not have it easy. Now, Alex Pereira, when he put out Yuri Prohaska and then the controversial decision against Jan, which I did think Pereira won, but he did seem kind of sloppy. However, you got to think about his middleweight reign too. The way he just went through that division. He put out Sean Strickland. He put out Israel Adesanya. I mean, you got to give it to this man. This man has the hands of stone. A couple of key things I think Alex Pereira needs to do or he's going to do as per usual is attack the legs of Jamal Hill. Jamal Hill has that striking right. He likes to push off that front foot to throw those combinations. So I think if Alex Pereira gets that leg in check, then he's going to have an easier night uh, going for that knockout for Jamal Hill, which that is going to be my prediction. I have Alex Pereira knocking out Jamal Hill either in round two or round three. I think Alex Pereira needs to pick apart that leg in order to find that knockout shot against Jamal Hill. Now, some things for Jamal Hill. Jamal Hill is that striker, and he ain't afraid to go in and throw with you. However, I don't, I don't know about that chin, man. I mean, nobody's been able to withhold Alex Pereira's power. So, I don't know if he's just banking that he has a chin of stone like Alex's hands of stone, uh, but we're going to find out. I am super excited for this one. I don't think this one's going the distance. This one has to go by a knockout, and I definitely favor Alex Pereira getting that knockout. All right, everybody. So that is my predictions for UFC 300. Let me know what your predictions are down below. Of course, what I'm going to be doing this time around is I'm going to be getting my reactions for UFC 300 tomorrow. I'm not going to be able to get the whole card, but I will be sure I get all of my reactions for the main card. I'm super excited for this. I hope you guys are as well. And we're going to find out who are going to be the winners of USC 300. Stay tuned. Be sure you leave a like rating on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I know I haven't posted in two months, all right? Give me a break. Give me some time. I'm going to start posting soon. I have some ideas. I'll get some videos out for you guys. I promise. But I want to thank you guys, like always, for watching the videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.